we've just gotten our very first look at Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. From our first look at the next season's battle pass, the brand new trailer for the brand new season, we are going to be covering here in today's video along with all new information about Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4, which should be arriving at the end of summer. And you want to make sure you're staying tuned for us. We have everything you guys need to know about the future of Fortnite. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 5 days time. And well, if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, do consider using my support creator code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. We have just about a month left until the release of the brand new season of Fortnite and we've already had everything revealed to us. Thanks to the roadmap that is now confirmed to be true, shows us all of the upcoming updates that we will be getting in LEGO Fortnite Battle Royale Rocket Racing and also Fortnite Festival. You can obviously see what looks to be the brand new Star Wars May the 4th event arriving for LEGO Fortnite, which I have to say is pretty cool. But we also have our very first look at the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 key art, which clearly shows us the post-apocalyptic theme, which we did obviously have leaked to us for quite some time now. We have tons to go over when it comes to this brand new key art for the brand new season, even though it clearly is very blurry. From what we can tell, it does actually look like in this image itself, we will actually be seeing a redesign happen to the train that obviously goes around the Fortnite Chapter 5 island. This time around, it does actually seem to be a steam train, which is definitely pretty cool, as it most likely will be revamped to obviously fit the theme of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. We can also see some scavengers, obviously, all around this actual image, which clearly makes sense considering obviously wearing makeshift pieces of armor. Which obviously are going to be brand new skins that will be arriving inside of the brand new season, whether that be in the battle pass or potentially inside of the Fortnite item shop. Not to forget, we do also have this brand new airport location that should be arriving inside of the brand new season. You'll see they've gone through a nuclear fallout, which most likely will be actually happening at the very end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. Some of the storyline quests actually do reveal that we should be seeing smoke and obviously dark skies, which obviously would be the product of a nuclear fallout. Obviously, we'll get even more information about that as we do get closer to the end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, so be sure you're completing all of the storyline quests. Quests. Just before we get any further, I want to give you guys a quick heads up about FlexiSpot. The kind people over at FlexiSpot sent me out their E7 standing desk, which I've been using for roughly about two weeks now. I did actually go with a plain black desktop, which personally I do think looks pretty cool with my setup. I'm actually a big fan of it. To say this actually works perfectly with my setup, for the sole reason that you can actually adjust the height of this desk to even have it standing if you would like to do so. I can't actually do thanks to the height of the ceiling in my room, but I will be actually getting the ceiling extended at some point so that'll definitely will be pretty handy when i'm actually looking to stretch my legs out nonetheless it's still perfect as i can use this to actually adjust it to the perfect height to fit my room i love this desk so much that this is actually my second one as i'm actually using one to the left which you can obviously see right here it even has a usb port which you can obviously you can use to charge your phone or any of your mobile devices which is honestly going to come in pretty handy i honestly don't think i could go back to any other desk if you'd like to pick up an E7 standing desk for yourself, all the links are down in the description and also in the pinned comment so you can check it out for yourself. Another big thank you to FlexiSpot for sending me out the E7 standing desk because it's upgraded my setup so much. So obviously by the end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, at some point we do know that Zeus is actually going to pop up a giant hourglass on the Fortnite Island, which most likely will be around the Mount Olympus POY, which obviously would make sense. And us as a community will actually have to destroy this hourglass, very similar to the way we obviously had to do damage to Pandora's box at the end of last season, which obviously was a pretty cool community event. And my guess is by destroying the hourglass, we obviously will destroy the Fortnite Island, paving the way for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3's theme, with it obviously being a post-apocalypse. But as I said, just keep an eye out on all of the storyline quests that the Oracle is giving us in-game right now, considering those are giving away tons of different information about the storyline that we currently have ongoing here inside of season two we got somebody sneaking around up where you at bro where are you at 
think we'll pass on taking out Zeus. I think he quite possibly has the worst mythic in the entire game. But we do also have our very first look at some of the brand new Battle Pass skins that you definitely don't want to miss out on, as it looks like next season's Battle Pass is going to be quite packed. But we do know, thanks to the leaks roadmap that we actually got the other day, thanks to some leaks from Epic Games, it does actually look like we're going to be seeing an all-new collaboration for Pirates of the Caribbean inside of Season 3, which we already had an idea was actually going to be arriving in the game, thanks to all of the information we already had about Epic and Disney working together on brand new collaborations in Fortnite. And while it does actually look like next season's event pass, as obviously we right now we do actually have the Avatar event pass, it actually will be a Pirates of the Caribbean themed one. So that does mean that we should be seeing the arrival of Jack Sparrow, obviously the main character from those movies, make his way into Fortnite, which I definitely do think is going to be pretty cool, considering we only had the recent release of Jack Skellington for last year's Fort Nightmares event. And I'm guessing we're going to see tons of Disney characters also make their way into the game, which I'm definitely pretty hyped about. So be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments, as I know a lot of people are probably going to be pretty excited to see some of their favorite Disney characters make their way into the game, as I definitely know I am. And well, to be fair, I do think it's actually kind of crazy that this entire roadmap for the entirety of Fortnite Chapter 5 has actually been leaked, as this actually does include brand new updates that will be arriving for all of the different game modes, which is actually kind of crazy, as we do even have leaks about the next season of Rocket Racing, and even all new Fortnite Festival artists that will be making their way into the game in future seasons, such as Metallica and also Snoop Dogg, which is actually kind of funny. So be sure to leave your thoughts on this roadmap down in the comments. Are you guys excited for it? As I personally am even more excited than I was beforehand. Oh, we do got some people up this way. Sounds like a bit of beef. Man, I love the Deagle so much. Easily the best weapon in the entire game. God. This isn't good. Obviously, with us having leaks for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, we actually do also have leaks about Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4, as it actually does seem to be like it's going to be an all-new Marvel season yet again for the very first time since Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. And while this time around, it does actually seem to be focused around the Fantastic Four and obviously not the Avengers this time around. As we can actually see from the image they did use for this actual little roadmap here, we can actually see what it actually is a comic book, which is actually for the Fantastic Four. As we can obviously see Doctor Doom on the image but here is the full comic book cover which you can obviously see right here and while it is safe to say that we most likely will be getting the arrival of the human torch mr fantastic the thing and also the invisible woman and obviously all of them most likely will not end up inside of the battle pass and we will have a few of them rotate inside of the item shop considering obviously all the outfits are going to be very similar and i do wonder if this is going to pick up the storyline for the marvel zero world comic book as we do know that that actually did leave off with a cliffhanger of dr doom and also geno not to forget so who knows this brand new marvel season could even set up the entire fortnite storyline yet again as obviously it's been completely gone for the past few years now but you can be sure to let me know down in the comments as obviously that's going to be arriving towards the end of summer and we will actually be getting yet another fortnite season og and thanks to the roadmap it does actually look like it's going to be on the fortnite chapter 2 island which i definitely didn't expect to see in the game but i'm curious to how exactly this will pave the way for fortnite chapter 6 but i'm still pretty curious to how exactly it'll work but obviously we're just getting a brand new marvel season we're actually going to be seeing the arrival of brand new marvel skins very very soon with the arrival of deadpool for the release of the brand new deadpool and wolverine movie which is definitely pretty cool for any of you guys who missed out on the original deadpool skin you will be able to get your hands on the brand new version which is obviously going to be the mcu version which is obviously going to be this suit right here so definitely be sure to be on the lookout for that as i most likely will be releasing inside of the fortnite item shop potentially alongside with an all-new wolverine outfit obviously being Hugh jackman's version as we do know obviously deadpool was locked behind a battle pass and so were the two previous wolverine skins with one of them being in season 2 chapter 4's battle pass and well we also did have wolverine zero who was actually available as a part of the fortnite crew which was definitely pretty disappointing where you going buddy where are you going somebody else over here i love the old trusty deagle Got a whole lot of people over here. 
nice little cleanup. But we do also have a look at the brand new season's battle pass, obviously arriving on May 24th, thanks to all of the leaks we do have. As you know, with the post-apocalyptic theme, we're actually going to be seeing the arrival of a brand new Mad Max collaboration, which is definitely perfect considering we're getting the release of a brand new Mad Max movie on the exact same day the new season releases, which is going to be called Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, which is definitely pretty cool. And we do know that Mad Max is actually played by Tom Hardy, who is already in Fortnite, as obviously he was the Eddie Brock skin as he does play Venom in those Venom movies. And I do think this is going to be pretty cool, as he most likely will also have some brand new vehicles inside of the Battle Pass as well, considering those Mad Max movies focus a lot on vehicles and cars. So we may be able to customize our cars in Fortnite to obviously look more like the cars in Mad Max, which do definitely look pretty cool, as we may even be able to put some weapons on them. So that's definitely pretty cool, as it most likely will also include some brand new rewards that are going to be related to Rocket Racing as well, which I'm actually a big fan of that game mode, so you can be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about Mad Max making his way into the game. And we do also have another collaboration, which is actually going to be for the popular video game known as Fallout, which obviously did just get a release of a brand new TV show on Amazon Prime. And it looks like we're actually going to be getting the arrival of two brand new Fallout outfits. One of them most likely will be available inside of the Fortnite item shop, but it's getting the availability of a brand new power armor skin, which is obviously well known in the Fallout games, which I personally do think looks pretty cool, but I honestly would have preferred if it ended up being some sort of item that we would have been able to use in a match, but it's being able to get inside the power armor itself and use all of its different weapons, which I think would have been pretty cool as it would have been kind of similar to the mechs we had back in Season X. And then we do also know about a brand new Vault Boy skin, who's obviously the mascot who you do actually see on the cover of all of the Fallout games, which I definitely do think being actually kind of like a troll outfit, I definitely do think it looks pretty cool nonetheless, as it looks like it's actually going to include a brand new Pit Boy in the form of a backbling, and also a chain sword in the form of a harvesting tool, which obviously is perfectly in line with Fallout. And with the release of our brand new next gen update for Fallout 4 arriving very soon, this would also work pretty perfectly. So you can be sure to let me know down in the comments what you feel about Fallout arriving at Fortnite, as we most likely will see some brand new mythic items related to Fallout making their way into the game as well. Seeing as how we always do get mythic items related to brand new collaborations these days, especially when they're in the battle pass or even a part of as an event pass. Man, I didn't even realize there's like 7 people left in this game, we are actually just zooming through it. There's one. Everybody seems to be split up this game. And there we go. With only two players left, I think we can easily grab ourselves a win here. If we can find out where the last remaining players are. They're definitely here somewhere. There we go. There's one. And we got a solo running around here somewhere. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you're not already, do consider using my support creator code YTRA inside the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. And if you did enjoy, do drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.